What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today I wanted to talk about New Year's resolutions. And I wanted to talk about them specifically because, well, it's almost the New Year, and a lot of people are trying to get back into good and healthy habits. And my last video, I talked about having a having your habits getting started ahead of time. So while you have it here now, don't wait until New Year's to start your habits. Start today. If you want to do push-ups, start today. If you want to stop smoking, start today. I want to talk about the New Year's resolutions themselves. And the most important thing I think that people may get mistake on is the phrasing. Because when you phrase things in a way that they can be failed, that leads to failure. The problem comes in when people say things like, I want to stop smoking, or I want to work out every day. All, both of these things are ad admirable goals, and I support anyone who wants to do them. The problem comes in is, as soon as you miss one day, you failed. Game over. Goodbye. That's not how making a healthy habit works at all, actually. Because you're going to fail, you're going to slip up, especially if it's something that you already struggle with. Sure, a non-smoker saying, I'm never gonna smoke a cigarette this year, it's kinda easy to, you know, not start. The problem is, is that because changing habits is such a difficult thing to do, you can't let yourself have one day of failure because that will cause the whole thing to come crashing down. And you don't want that. You want your New Year's resolution to be a progressive thing. You want to be able to grow with this kind of tenet in your mind. And so when you say something like, I want to work out every day, or I want to stop smoking, you find that these lead to immediate failures. But if you phrase it in a different way to where I want to smoke less. I want to work out more. Well, any kind of progress is still progress. For example, if you have never worked out a day in your life, and let's say you do one push-up a week, well, you did it. Congrats. If you did one push-up in the whole year, that is still technically working out more. And so it makes the goal so much more achievable. And ultimately, if you only do one push-up, well, most likely you're not just gonna stop there because you're gonna be like, well, one push-up isn't really what I meant now, is it? Well, of course not. But it's what you're setting your goal to. It's what you're setting your intents on. And so while you can't fail, even if you miss a day or a week or a month, you won't fail but you can succeed more and more and more. And as you get these longer stretches of success, your resolution becomes more and more attainable and more and more uh, uh, presentable. So with these kind of life-changing uh, uh, New Year's resolutions, I think it's a very important thing to not necessarily temper expectations, have high expectations for yourself, but when you have it down to the letter, you need to make sure that you know, hey, this might not go the way I expect it to. When, when writing rules for yourself and goals and stuff like that, make failure impossible. So for example, my YouTube channel. I can't fail YouTube because I'm always trying. As long as I make videos and upload them to the internet, I haven't failed yet. Sure, it might be rough at times, but that doesn't mean I'm failing, it just means that I'm still working on it. I wanted to bring up another kind of resolution you can have. Not everything needs to be life-changing, morally correct things. Maybe you just want to go to more sushi restaurants in a year, or get more furry art of your fursona, or Get a fursuit at all and save up money for one. Simple things like that, especially when they're achievable and fun, can make you really feel like you're making progress in your life. And I think that's hugely important. Not New Year's resolutions don't have to be negative, sad, depressing things. They can be fun things that just get you outside more or do positive things in your life. 
So when you're writing out your New Year's resolutions this year, try to make sure that failure just isn't an option in them. If I go to one sushi restaurant, well, I've achieved going to more. If I do one push-up, I've achieved working out more. If I smoke less, I've achieved smoking less. The, 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 the bar of success needs to be so low that it's basically impossible not to do it. And then when you have such a low bar, it's easier to take these further and further steps. So when you go to one sushi restaurant, you'll go to two or three or four. If you stop smoking, you know, if you go down to a pack a, pack a day, you go to a pack a week, a month, a couple months, a year. And until you end up having the habit you want to have. So that's a whole rambly thing about New Year's resolutions. And that's kind of the whole video. So I hope you learned something. Happy New Year when it comes around. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. I just wanted to bring up that I have uh, lots of places you can find me. I'm on websites, so go check them out on the, um, I think it's here? I think this camera's flipped. Uh, but yeah, check some stuff out. I have cool songs on my Patreon, so check out my Patreon. I'm on Spotify now.